Good morning, good evening, and good night. Whatever time of the day you are watching, I hope it is a good one. Today is going to be a very special video. Like I know I said that every video, but look, this time I mean it. And that is because we are at Central City Barbecue. I mean, come on, who doesn't love good barbecue? Central City Barbecue is located in the central city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Beautiful scenery all around, man. Like, love the local art that is displayed around here. It definitely gives that New Orleans flavor to uh, not only the people who live here, like myself, but if any tourists come over here. I mean, come on, look at this. That's a perfect Instagram photo drop for anybody. Definitely great New Orleans art here at Central City Barbecue. Captures the New Orleans spirit. Great setup, lots of TVs if you want to watch your sports games. This is inside the, the bar area. Sure. What size is with that? And a very elaborate and awesome menu. So many options. I think though, I'm gonna go with my prime brisket. Actually, I'll take that back. Two meat looks really good. So I'm gonna get the burnt ends and the prime brisket. My size, I always go with my all you favorite. Potato salad and mac and cheese. You can't go wrong with that. The barbecue. With the burnt ends and brisket. You want your brisket chopped and sliced. Inside, very beautiful, very clean, spaced out. I'm out of hot honey bar. Awesome pig. Um, Bring with all workers in the back. And um, can I get Some the sweet dessert? Of they sell I guess just, uh, their own licensing products. Do you want to do fountain drinks or are you going to get drinks at the bar? That barbecue yeah. rail looks pretty, all right, too? pretty good, yes. I'm not going to lie. Right. Sweet. Right, that's going to be $49.25. Good option. Top of the line merchandise. My two new friends, hall workers, of course, at the bar area. Look at that. Butts and Clucks Grand Champion. You know the barbecue has to be legit. You are the Bucks and Clucks Grand Champion. So baby, what did you get? I got wings. Uh-huh. It didn't have the sauce I wanted. But um and a side of potato salad. Number 30 for Steph Curry. Speaking of Steph Curry, a lot of people say I look like him. And obviously, I see well, definitely not right now with this crazy hair I have, but I never saw the comparison. I think it's just because we're both light-skinned. I mean, every NBA player, when I worked for the New Orleans Pelicans, would tell me that I look like Steph Curry. They would just straight up call me Steph Curry. I'll actually splice in a photo that I took with Steph Curry from All-Star Weekend back in 2000, and I think it was 16 or 17. And you can see the non-resemblance, but for whatever reason, all the NBA players and even some fans would call me Steph Curry. Uh, Speaking of the New Orleans Pelicans, I had an amazing time when I was a ball boy for them, man. For future videos, I definitely might be doing some story times of my 10 plus year career as a ball boy for an amazing organization like the New Orleans Pelicans. Hey, Steph. I, I mean, John. Really? Award winning barbecue. So, we are about to find out just how award winning it is. The great thing about this place too is this, this dog friend. Look at the dog. And the guy who owns the dog actually just literally subscribed to my channel. So shout out to that guy. He is awesome. Very friendly. That's the beauty of New Orleans people. Southern hospitality goes a long way. Anybody who is anybody from New Orleans knows that these black and gold. Look at the cute puppy. These black and gold chairs are not coincidence. They are representing our hometown team, the New Orleans Saints. Who that? So this is awesome. The food came out really fast. I'm talking five minutes max, maybe less than that, and it looks delicious. So again, I got the burnt ends and the brisket, along with some potato salad, macaroni and cheese, bread, 
she has wings that look, oh my goodness, I'm kind of, she's at the bathroom right now. This is my chance to probably steal her. She won't notice. All right, so here's the first bite of the potato salad. And mind you, hold on, I am very anal about potato salad, so. If she says it's good, it better be good, because when I try it. Good. Spicy. Good, good. Because honestly, it is your mom's. <laughs> Shout out to moms. Here we go. The ultimate wing test. Drum roll. Pretty good. Ooh. I don't think it's that spicy. It's pretty good, though. Good flavor. How spicy intake and mouth spicy intake are on two completely different levels. Very crispy, but juicy on the inside. That's good. That's good. Now it's time to try my food. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. I think the airplanes are like killing me at this point, people. Okay, first I'm gonna try the potato salad. She said it was good. We'll see if it meets my threshold of greatness. And it does. It really does. The potato salad is delicious. It's the type of taste of potato salad that I like, so it gets my thumbs up. A little spicy, you're right. A little spicy. The macaroni. Solid. Not the greatest macaroni I've had, but if it was a little bit cheesier, it would be top of the line. But it's good for what it is. The burnt end is the real important part. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. That's good. Tender. That was good. I'm not like a professional food critic, guys, so please <laughs> go easy on me in the comments. If you live in New Orleans and you have been to Central City before, please comment below and let me know what you think about their barbecue. Let me know if you think there's a better barbecue spot that we should visit. Oh, and this is the brisket. Again, real good. Real good. So because of their fast service, excellent food quality. And my man right here, I wish I could get him on camera. I don't know if he wants to be on camera, but he is the man. He is the man. What's your name, my man? My name is Chad. Chad, everybody. Chad is the man. If you come to Central City, ask for Chad. Chad is the man. Come through, y'all. Great customer service. Yeah, Central City. I will, my man. I appreciate that. Central City definitely has my two thumbs up. There's only one right now because I got a lot of slap in this one. I don't want y'all to see that. But two thumbs up. I'm going to try to win too. Even though me and Spicy don't go well lately. Long ice on the toilet. TMI. That's a good wing. Let me get a little. There we go. Y'all guys can see me. I don't know if y'all want to see my head looking out crazy, bro. That's a good wing. It's just like the ASMR portion of my video. If you want to hear me chew. This is good. Central City Barbecue. Definitely. Definitely. A barbecue spot you should visit if you come to New Orleans. Finger looking good. Okay, so these are three of the barbecue sauces that they offer. We have the spicy barbecue. We have the sweet barbecue. And we have the white barbecue. I have never heard of or even tasted white barbecue before. But for your viewing pleasure, I will try it for the very first time. I'm gonna use one of my brisket pieces. And we're gonna start off with the spicy barbecue. It's good. And it's not too spicy. But it has that kick. But it has that kick to it that you would probably want with a spicy barbecue. Now I'm gonna chew first. I don't want. I mean, unless y'all like the chewing, Some people like that on YouTube. The, the, AS, the, the ASMR of it all. Now we're gonna try sweet barbecue. It's 
So basically, same flavor taste as the spicy barbecue, except instead of spicy, it's sweet. Probably my favorite. Probably the one that I'm using 90% of the time for my barbecue place, wherever I go. I love me some sweet barbecue. This one meets my standard of excellence. And finally, the one you've all been waiting for, the white barbecue sauce. According to Google, white barbecue sauce consists of mayonnaise, vinegar, mustard, brown sugar. I know a brown sugar too. <laughs> and horseradish. So we are going to see a lot of unique flavors combined into one. This is my first time trying white barbecue sauce. Let's see how it goes with the brisket. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's great. Not by my standards, at least. You can taste a lot of the mayonnaise as the, the dominant flavor of it. I don't know if I would use it for my barbecue food, but I can see the taste of it can appease a few people who enjoy that type of flavor. So, I'm not panning it, but I'm also personally not in love with it. But it is solid. Like, if I had to eat it, if I was on a desert island and there was the only barbecue sauce left, I'd, I'd eat it. They also offer vinegar barbecue sauce, but nah, I don't need to try that one. But you can. You can be anything you want to be. They also have personalized lemonade. Roy's Sweet Lemonade and Roy's Strawberry Lemonade. Let me tell you, I've already drunk some of that. You can obviously tell. It is mm, amazing. That's a good strawberry lemonade. If you come to Central City Barbecue, you have to get the lemonade. Preferably the strawberry lemonade, but if that's not your thing, the regular lemonade would be just as good. Oh yeah! That's probably more macho man than Kool-Aid man, but still. All right, so a final review from my beautiful fiance. Clarissa, what do you think of Central City Barbecue? Well, New Orleans is not known for barbecue. However, Central City Barbecue is definitely a good choice if you're a local or if you're a tourist. Come to Central City Barbecue, amazing wings, awesome platters, very satisfied customer over here. Ooh, yeah, well, exactly why she wants to marry me. Yes. This is the beauty of New Orleans, folks. You have sunny skies one minute and then a mini storm the next, but sometimes we get lucky with like really blended scenes of a sunset still happening, a mist, a storm coming over the city. A very nice way to end a productive day. Man, oh man, what a fun day we had. I am absolutely stuffed. I have the itis very badly. But before a nap can be forthcoming, we have to get to a very special review. I mean, everybody maybe appreciates me and Clarissa's review, but everybody wants to know the real star of the show's opinion of Central City Barbecue. So now, it is time for the review from Shady Breeze. Shady. Eat, eat. Good doggy. Well, folks, I think that Shady Breeze approves of Central City Barbecue. Until then, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. Like I said, let us know any of your favorite barbecue spots in New Orleans, and we will be sure to go visit it and give our review of that as well. And I'm sure Shady would really, really love the suggestions. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Or not. I'm just a human. I'm not the law. Till next time, guys. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the white barbecue sauce. Alright, according to the website, the white barbecue sauce consists of mayonnaise, vinegar, mustard, brown sugar, and horseradish. Horseradish. <laughs> blooper. Put this on a blooper one. <laughs> I say horseradish. There we go. <laughs>